What's up, everyone, and welcome back to Rob's Gaming Table. Today on the table, we have another uh, Game of Thrones card game tournament video from Black Knight Games in Hamilton, Ontario, brought to you by these awesome supporters of the channel that back us at patreon.com forward slash Rob's Gaming Table and make these videos happen. In this one, we got Tom playing Greyjoy Banner of the Dragon versus Alex Hines in this one, not O'Shea like in the last one, and he is playing Baratheon Banner of the Dragon. Alex on the left, Tom on the right. We have a Silence's crew and Eerie. And a Gates of the Moon set up on the right there. On the left we have uh, Magister Illyrio. And it looks like he's got a bodyguard on him. And a Great Hall plus a uh, Baratheon uh, reducer there. So we've had lots of uh, t videos from these t this tournament uh, going up on the channel. You can check those out under the playlist at Rob's Gaming Table. Um, we got more to come, so stay tuned for that. We got Late Summer Feast into Time of Plenty. So they both draw three cards off time of plenty. Yeah. <laughs> I got strength to schedule oh, doesn't get either of us in the gap. Might. No, it doesn't. Strength schedule. We're near the bottom of the stand, aren't we? Oh, you might be higher. I'm, I'm the top one and two. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think it so it looks like Tom is going first here, uh, the Greyjoy player. Now you are. Mm -hmm. He's got no bestow on Eerie, no bestow on Silence's crew yet. It sucks when you have to set up uh, bestow characters or ambush characters, I guess. In both cases, it usually sucks, but whatever. Better than setting up nothing. We got a Rose Road for the Limited on the Greyjoy side of things. And we got an Iron Islands, Iron Islands Fishmonger. And that's knelt right away for some reduction on a Greyjoy character. And it's a seven coster. It is Asha. And a uh, uh, sea stone chair and a flea bottom. And Plaza of Pride. Locations, locations, locations. And saves the gold for flea bottom if if uh, if he can use it or maybe an event. Over to Alex, uh, the Brathian player for his marshalling. I think that's an ocean road. It's hard to tell under the glare. I apologize. And a plaza of pride of his own. Which makes sense. Uh, Banner Dragon. Plaza of pride. Seems like uh, one of the main reasons to uh, Banner the Dragon. And they're, they're just selecting uh, the prize, extra prize support that was provided by the store. Uh, they let us all pick uh, from their various alt arts they had left over from previous game night kits and store championships and stuff. So we're all just taking them and passing them on. So that's what that was there. And thanks to Jay at Black Knight Games for providing those. Uh, we got a flea bottom on the other side now. I don't pay attention. I was busy finding normal calls. 
like saving kids. You may look at your so if you guys haven't already, check out our Gloomhaven campaign while we wait for Alex and Marshall here. Uh, we are running through, hopefully, the whole campaign. We'll be playing that for, like, the next year because that game is huge. Uh, but if you don't know what it is, go check out at least the first episode. Uh, you should know what it is. It's the number one board game of all time right now on Board Game Geek. Uh, so you should go buy it and play it. It's a legacy-style game, dungeon crawl, co-op. Got a cool little uh, leveling and item system and a party system. It's it's a fun little game. All right, another Barrett Chud marshaled in here. He is knelt right away. Okay, we got Sir or uh, Dabo Seaworth. No, Devin Seaworth. Devin Seaworth is what it is. So he's not going to play him, actually, since he realizes he has Flea Bottom and Plaza Pride already in play. So maybe he doesn't have any other good targets he feels like grabbing. So instead, he's going to do a Second Sons for three. And then a Queensman. Just going to let him look at his opponent's hand. And he can kneel a non brathing character to get rid of a non bear card. Yeah, he doesn't want to lose the location after he just didn't play Devin, so he gets rid of the We Do Not So. And he kneels the uh, Bear Chud to do so. Or no, he couldn't kneel that. Who did he kneel to do that? Huh. I think it's to kneel a non Bear character to do that. So, Mr. Hines, you've cheated. Yeah, I think you need to kneel the second sons or Illyrio there. Unless I miss him paying two gold to stand with Illyrio. So military stealth in the second sons. Five strength. He's got to defend with the queen's men, I'm sure. So it's not unopposed. Which he will do. So Clam is a bear chud. <laughs> and we get Sir Jorah Mormont. So he looks at the top card and takes it. Since he accidentally looked at the top two cards, but only has one in the discard pile right now. And I don't know if Alex remembered the forced reaction off Lace Murphy. I'm sure he did. Oh, there it is. Yeah, I just remembered it there. So he just got a copy of Eerie off that. And now an Intrigue of two with Eerie that's on the board. And a full block with Illyrio. And a power with Silence's crew. And that'll go unopposed. It gives a power for Alex to steal on the back side. So he's going to draw off late Summer Feast. And we got a Pillage. It's a location, so they get a gold on Silence's crew. Now over to Alex for his challenges. He's got the second son standing. He still has Plaza of Pride there. You can pitch a card and stand someone if he wants. He's going to go military with the second sons. And that'll go unopposed. Claim is the fishmonger. He wants to use Flea Bottom, but has no money for it, so. I'll have to use Plaza and stand his uh, second sons, or. I would assume the second sons. Unless he wants to hit with an intrigue. Do the Queen's Men. I think I'm going to go 
ahead and then jump the car to the power. I'm going to say that's probably a better charge for me. Another time of plenty. Yeah, he gets rid of uh, Devin Seaworth there to stay in the second Suns to do a power. Does he want to stand with his own Plaza of Pride? But it would just be to block the unopposed, so it's not the greatest. So that will be an unopposed power challenge. Dominance to the Greyjoys. Second Sons goes to the discard pile, of course. He's already gone. Right, so who's first <laughs> Four cards. It's card effects can't cause an entry play. The expiry of a card effect. Cool. He's handy to have around. He's no juice. I think he's a good guy. No, this is perfect. All right, so here's the deal. I have characters. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve characters. That's a lot of characters in a, it is a lot of five card hand. <laughs> um, if it was five cards, I don't remember. And a Melisandre kneeling in Asha is fine, but you're not going to win any prizes. No. No. And I'm going to have fewer locations because you're going to be blowing shit up. And yeah, we got trade routes into trade routes here. They're both looking to get mad money off all those locations. Yes, I have three power, so you get to choose. Playing first. Um, yeah, it sounds like Tom, the Great J player, shows himself to go first. And they get nine gold each off the trade routes. Alright, you will go first. What shall we draw? Yep, that's nice. Draw two. So four off a newly made lord. And Flea Bottom gets uh, blowed up there by the newly made lord. And we have a great haul for the limited of this round for the Great Joys. One, two, three. And three for his second sons. And four for a Silence's crew with no bestow and one gold saved. And we have another Ocean Road on the bear side of things, under the glare there. I apologize. And we've got a s another second Suns played in here on the bear side. And there's Eerie. Is she going to get any bestow? Probably should. Yep. She gets one on her. And a dupe. Actually, two bestow on her. Yeah, why not go the max? Depending on what else you have in hand. Oh, or not. And another Queensman, uh, reduced with the Chud there. Also, I think, uh, last turn I and yeah, Alex realizes he forgot to kneel a non, <laughs> a non bear character. Conveniently remembers it now. It's okay. You're new. I know. Uh, <laughs> probably just would have been a faithful. Oh no, you can't kneel him. That is what I'm reduced to. This is so, so bad. Alex has no cards in hand now. It's all out there on the board. You know how many seven costs this deck has? <laughs> oh, yeah. 
He was hoping on top decking a seven coster, but instead he's got a. Yeah, I'm not sure what bear character that is under the glare there, but it's one with the so. I think it's the Fickle Bannerman. After you lose a power challenge, uh, the winning opponent takes a gold off Fickle, Fickle Bannerman unless you discard. Oh, takes control of Fickle Bannerman unless you discard one gold from it. It's that guy. Not sure what attachment he has on him there, but it's two gold. Uh, so now a military. And two pillage here. Oh, there's a uh, course that Melisandre getting pillaged. That's great. And seven cards in the discard pile, so Asha's ability is going to let uh, Tom there look at the top seven cards. So Alex Hines likes to talk a lot while uh, you're playing against him. I've, I've noticed from playing against him since first edition, he likes to just talk about what you're going to do and mess with you and kind of kind of lead you down a path, point things out, kind of kind of tilt you off uh, off center. So you got a pro tip. Just ignore him. Completely ignore him and just play, play your game. <laughs> Similar to how John Andrews Dark Notch plays too. And Tris Botley pitched for the Plaza of Pride to stand Asha up. Oh, it's Lightbringer that's on the Fickle Bannerman. Which I don't know really what it's doing there. I guess it's, 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 since he, like he said, he doesn't have a seven coster out there to slap it on, uh, I guess that's okay. And if it was in his hand, he'd lose it for sure. So I think we have a power here with Asha and the second Silences crew. And I think that's going unopposed. So it gets a gold on the Silences crew for pillaging an attachment. Then a location with Asha. And nine cards searching through now. <laughs> yeah, looks like you grabbed an Iron Mines there off the uh, search. I don't think Tom needs to do an intrigue here. Uh, there's no cards in hand. It could just be opposed and blocked with Eerie. So intrigue, blocked and opposed with Eerie off the Queen's Man gets a Plaza Pride dupe. So I have an 
unknown in there. Mm -hmm. Crap. Not yeah. terribly happy with that. Uh, you got six, nine. So let's go. Uh, two more. Pluck. Where'd you get nine? <laughs> so 11 strength power challenge here with the fickle bannerman and the second sons or a military instead i think he yeah uh no 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 it's power yeah he's changed his mind again it's power <laughs> or not at all he's rolling back even further <laughs> So he's going to do a mill of 11. And second sons will block for six. And he gets a renowned stance of Fickle Bannerman. Yeah, so they forgot the Fickle Bannerman, so he's going to discard a gold off him to keep him from when Tom won the Power Challenge earlier. I missed that too. And now Power Challenge with the Fickle Bannerman, getting another Renown. And Dominance to the Bear Arathians. All right, going into plots here, we have summons into first snow of winter. Ooh, it's a nice first snow there. And Tom, the great J player, chooses himself to go first. Let's see who's going to grab off summons. Might as well grab someone who's going to stay in play. Melisandre seems like a good choice. Coming into play, doing some kneel. All right, what's Tom gonna marshal here? He's got an Iron Mines in hand. Looks like that's oh, a couple of them, I think. Nope, it's a Sea Tower in Iron Mines, which will use the Sea Tower to play for the uh, pay for the Iron Mines. And he's gonna sit on six gold. Save. I think he's got a card in hand left. Over to Alex for his marshaling. So yeah, Alex is worried about the Sea Stone Chair. If it's uh, if a mill goes off unopposed, mill could be sniped. <laughs> he wishes he had attachment to protect Mel uh, with Lightbringer, but it's not going to go back to hand yet. Not till first note. The start of challenges. Yes, it is. That's why you can't have it back. Yeah, Mel's going to come in and kneel Asha. But Plaza Pride is out there. I don't know if he has a card you can chuck to stand her, but maybe not. Maybe nothing that expensive. I think he needs a four cost to do it. He's going to play an Ocean Road, and first snow goes off. And Eerie had a dupe, so she gets uh, kept in play. I think Alex has a gold left still over there at the top of his mat that he hasn't spent. Oh, 
I have second. You do. And third sons as well. You got no gold. I have no gold. Well, that's yeah. good. So we got a military to start with Silence's crew. Makes sense. Uh, do I really have no gold? Uh, uh, I don't think that's right. Four, five, six, seven. I should have two gold left, right? Yes. Yeah. I don't know. Yeah. It was just hiding. Military of six. That will be with no defenders. Are you going to nail your faction card? Yeah. Uh, so we got an unopposed military going through. We got the Sea Stone killing Mel. We got Pillage on Silence's screw. Gets an attachment. They get a gold. And second son's coming in off of flea bottom. And doing a power challenge for six. Uriel blocked and opposed. And over to Alex for his challenges. And he's going to come in on intrigue with uh, Illyrio. And that'll go unopposed. And he'll claim a Eerie into the discard pile. You can spend two gold to stand with Illyrio here. I was going to do Tywin at first, but I had to do so. You haven't used Plaza yet? No. He's actually going to use Plaza, discarding a Queen's Men to stand Illyrio, coming on a power challenge. And Silence's crew will defend with eight. They will win. We get another pillage. And it's a uh, seven cost Dario Naharis. Oh, boy. So we have cannon coppers into trade routes. And this trade routes hits hard. So five gold to work with on the Greyjoy side. Not as close as the like 78 that Alex has to work with on the other side. So he's got Miri in hand. He can get her into play using the Great Hall, but he's got to spend all his gold, and then he'll have nothing for Flea Bottom. So we got an Acolyte of the Waves marshaled in there. And four gold saved. Wow. Over to Alex. Let's see what he's going to dump into play. We got Flea Bottom back. Aw, that again. 
again. Great hole and five. Oh, Big Bob is in play now. We're in trouble. Uh-oh. And Erie's able to stand uh, Bob there with her gold on her, so that's good. And he's got uh, Bob standing off Lightbringer also, which will be great. And he's going to get rid of the We Do Not Sow by kneeling Erie there, uh, using the Queen's Men's effect. And another the Fickle, ma fickle Bannerman is back. Bestow two. And sits on two gold. So he's only going to bestow the Fickle Banner Man for one and keep three gold. He's one for Flea Bottom and then uh, two for Illyrio's ability if he's going to use it. Or maybe he's got a... Ours is the Fury hiding in hand. So Flea Bottom Assault Wife in. He wants to get through somebody there, make them not be able to defend. And maybe he can get an intrigue through. No, that does he's not playing reigns. Never mind. That doesn't help him. What's he trying to do here? Oh, maybe get the unopposed military through with the uh, sea stone. It's hiding under the glare there. Can't target kill Bob because he's got an attachment. Can't do Illyrio because he's got an attachment. So it would be one of the other three weenies. Yeah, Alex is sorting his discard pile there, showing all of his flea bottom targets. <laughs> oh my god. And also, I guess so you can count it really quick uh, for Asha's ability. Fickle Bannerman getting salt wafed. Can't defend. Oh, if uh, yeah, you can still get the gold off Fickle Bannerman. Can't take control of it yet. I'm interested to see what Tom comes up with here, what he's trying to achieve by salt wafing that Fickle Bannerman. So power of stealthing Bob using Silence's crew, which is eight strength plus five for Asha. And Illyrio's gonna block the unopposed. Sixteen cards in the discard pile right now. That's a good Asha search. Yeah, it looks like he's going for the Risen. We see uh, Iron Mines or two in there. So yeah, Alex pointing out that Tom's only at six power right now. Uh, and see Alex telling Tom what he can do. You know, you're gonna stand Asha with your plaza and come at me with the military. Like he tries to get in your head, make you, make you, <laughs> make poor decisions. <laughs> and there's a the flea bottom standing in the silence's crew. They're going to come in on the military for eight. I mean, you could have gotten second silence, but it wouldn't have. Yeah, it wouldn't have made it. Uh, military? With the sound. What did you discard? Just ten? Uh, 
Military, uh... So Bob will easily defend that. Get a renown, stand up. I guess not easily, only by nine. And he'll stand himself back up. And now time for the bear to go on the offense. And a military with Big Bob. No defenders on that one. Accolade of the Waves dies. They're going to gain a power. And the newly made lord is going to get intimidated there. Queensman coming in on the unopposed intrigue. Grabbing a risen from hand. That's how it always works. And Bob will stand up off a two gold Illyrio trigger. And Fickle Bannerman and Robert Baratheon will come in on the power challenge. And he'll stand with Eerie to try to win dominance. So I think he's got 12 power now after dominance to 6 on the other side. Yeah, 12 power, just like that. Wow. Now Alex just needs to play a high initiative plot. Go first. And crush Tom's dreams here. We could see Valor here. I'm feeling it. Feeling like it's Valor time. Yep, Valor into counting coppers. Makes sense. And Illyrio gets saved off the bodyguard. And Bob is dead. Along with everyone else but Illyrio and Asha. Asha gets saved off the Iron Mines. So now it's 8 to 6. So it sounds like Alex has chosen himself to go first. So the bear player will marshal first, I believe. Oh. Or no, maybe he's made Tom go first. I'm not sure. thought he said himself to go first, but... Oh yeah, he is going first. Four gold to work with. Plus two ocean roads and a great hall. Gets a second Suns into play. Oh, he's got a copy of Bob in hand. And for a limited, plays another great hall. Gets Crescent into play. <laughs> I was expecting someone bigger. And he saves a gold for his own flea bottom so he can come in and uh, block the unopposed off of a military challenge and prevent the sea stone chair. Seven gold for Miri. Oh, <laughs> and that's dirty with the fishmonger off the sea tower. And over to Alex for his challenges. <laughs> so... So he could get he could get claim off Valor is what Alex is thinking, but remember Flea Bottom is is a thing, so he can jump in front of the unopposed mill. So unopposed military gets Alex up to nine, kills the uh, Targ Loyalist. Now an intrigue with Illyrio. And that goes unopposed. And gets an Acolyte of the Waves at a hand on the Intrigue Claim. Gets a power for that, up to 10. It's going to chuck for Plaza Pride, standing up the Second Sons. And they're going to come in on a 6-strength power challenge. Block the Unopposed with the Fishmonger, or not. 
Yeah, you will block the unopposed. Makes sense. So 11 power on the bear side now. Time for the Greyjoys to do their challenges. So five strength entry with Miri. So I don't think he's got any characters that he can flee bottom in to stop Miri from winning alone right now. And what can he do here? I, I don't think he can stop Miri from winning, but he's going to kill somebody. Maybe a Lirio, maybe a kill. Second Sons. Oh, he's going to play something out of hand here. Oh, he brings back the Second Sons using Iron Bank to get some gold. Does he have something he can do with that gold? Besides Flea Bottom. Oh, he's going to use a two for Illyrio. Stand him up. Flea Bottom. And he gets Jorah. And just like that, stops Miri. See, that's Alex telling you you're going to get claim. He's telling Tom, yep, you'll get claim. But then he, yeah, he just does sneaky stuff. And military stealthing Jorah with Asha. And that'll go unopposed. And Seastone kills Illyrio. One less stand card for on the on the board. And Jorah will go to the bottom of the deck. Pillages Quaith. And Asha's going to search through 19 cards here. But Alex is still in the lead. He's got 10 power. Nope, 11 power. But Plaza Pride has not been used yet, I don't think. So Tom still can get a military or a power off, but can't really steal anything because no claim. So Dom yes. So could he not have searched something with Asha? Stood Miri. Do a power challenge. Eh, I guess it's not really worth it. Who knows? Close call against uh, Rise of the Crack in there. And Tom, the Greyjoy player, is going to choose himself to go first. He's going to move Bob from his dead pile. And I think he's still got Bob in hand, so we could see Rob Baratheon hitting the board here. Oh, he just threw in another copy of Bob. We have a duped up Bob on the board in a second, I'm assuming. Those great hauls shouldn't be a problem. See you're on in the hand of Tom there. Yep, you're on on the board. And he might have to save two gold because he wants to use Flea Bottom. Or he can play the Wildling Scout. It looks like he has in hand. Uh, on a Valor turn, Miri and, uh, and Seastone both. I got two claims. Yeah. Well, I've managed to deny Miri, yes. but, but he was threatening to. Had the ability to get two claims. So even though it feels like Tom's been like rocking the board here and doing a good job, he's only sitting at six power. And he's gonna save two gold over to Alex for his marshalling, sitting on twelve power. He's holding the dupe in hand, I think, of Bob there. I don't know why he doesn't play it. Maybe he wants to save it to Chuck to stand with Plaza of Pride. And we got Ego to get some stand going here.
Yeah, you might not do Bob here. Yeah, he's going to do it. Just to protect from Sea Stone makes sense. Just in case. So one played from Flea Bottom. One one goal to play Flea Bottom, sorry. Or to uh, trigger Flea Bottom. To bring in a Salt Wife. Salt Wife's going to say, Aggo can't defend this phase. Miri coming in on the intrigue for five. And no defenders. Two unopposed there. It's because of the plot, given the reaction on the unopposed. So you debate on the two claim here. Makes sense. He's got three cards in hand. Or you kill somebody. I think you kill someone. But then again, Flea Bottom's there. I think you kill Ego. Or you kill Bob. Try to get the dupe off of Bob. Yeah, tough choice here. But I think you kill Ego. I don't know what Tom's got in hand here. What he's, what he's thinking. He's trying to think of all the possibilities outs can do with one gold, three cards in hand. Maybe he wants to hit the hand. Oh, with Plaza Pride, getting rid of cards in hand might be good. So he kills Crescent, actually. Ooh, I don't think that was the right choice. Asha's going to stealth Bob on the power challenge. He's going to spend one, bring in a second Suns to block for six. Well, there's nothing to stand Asha to do some stealth with, but I, I don't know. So he's going to do a military with the Euron. Bob can just block that. Which he will. Yeah, he's going to block. Take a power. And can he stand him with Plaza of Pride? Alright. Tom's board's fully knelt out here. Alex is three, two power away from winning. And Ego can do two challenges since he can stand. And that's unopposed. Stands Ego off the ability. Comes in on the military challenge. Unopposed and that's game. Wow. Uh, yeah. Ooh. Congrats to Alex there. Too bad for Tom. But uh, yeah, that's it. We got another one coming up from the Swiss here. Then we're going to go to the top four and the finals. So stay tuned. Subscribe to the channel. We got lots more Thrones coming up. And uh, yeah, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks a lot for watching.